Hello children, nice to see you today. How have you been? I know it's been a long time since you and I last met. But before we go into our children's time today, let's just give thanks with our hands together and our heads bowed. Lord God, we thank you so much that you brought us together again with yet another wonderful story of your goodness. We pray that you help us to learn to pray with one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, children. So, I know that in the past weeks we've been looking at um, the armor, the full armor of God, okay? And you talked about the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, sword of the spirit. You remember all that. Now, Paul tells us that we couple the armor with prayer, praying at all times. And that brings us to our title for the message today is corporate prayer. Corporate prayer simply meaning that the power of praying together as a group, maybe as classmates, a group of friends, a group of playmates, okay, a family praying together. So, I want to tell you a story that brings that out so well. It's in Acts chapter 12. Now, this was at a time when Herod was very angry with the Christians and all the Jews hated the Christians because they were talking about Jesus as the risen Savior and Messiah. So many of the apostles had been scattered. Now Peter was caught, he was arrested and put into prison. And you know what children? Herod made sure he must be kept in under high security so that he could persecute him after the feast of the passover so he got 16 soldiers eight on his side to sit there and guard him through the night so nightfall comes and of course everybody falls asleep so peter sleeps the guards sleep the guards at the gates sleep now in the middle of the night something interesting happens do you know what children an angel came into the cell and it tapped peter on the side and you know he was startled and the angel told him Shh, stand up and as peter was standing up the chains that were holding his hands and his feet fell off and the angel told him put on your shoes and peter put on his shoes and then the angel told him put your cloak around you okay and then Peter got his cloak and wrapped it around himself. All this time, everybody in the prison was snoring fast asleep. So they walked to the first door and the angel opened it and they walked to the next door and still they managed to go through. Nobody even stirred. And guess what, children? They got to the last door a heavy metal door that led out to the streets of the city and you know what the moment they stood before the door it opened by itself and the angel led peter out of prison and into the street and peter all the while thought wow this is a wonderful vision but guess what children it was real and when the angel had taken peter somewhere he left him and that's when Peter came to himself and said, Oops, this is real. I'm out of prison. I must run to the house of Mary. So as Peter was running to the house of Mary, you know what? In the house of Mary, they were praying. The believers gathered there, all those people that believed in Jesus Christ. They had gathered there and were praying earnestly for Peter and the other apostles who were being persecuted. And guess what? The next thing they hear, a knock at the door and just like oh who could be that in the night another knock so they send out Rhoda one of the young ladies in the house to go and check and Rhoda comes back and says I had a voice like Peter and they say no that's impossible Peter is in prison now if you heard his voice probably that's his angel he has been murdered and then they said no let's first go to the gate and see and guess what it was Peter free at the door so they brought him in briefly. They were so happy to see him. They praised God. And then Peter told him, told them everything as it had happened. And after that, he bade them farewell and went to find a safer place where he could hide. 
let me tell you children the believers were so happy that god had answered their prayer and that's the power of corporate prayer or the power of praying together because it is powerful and god answers us when we pray together we could pray together as a family or classmates or playmates or friends and then when we go to ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 he says we pray in the spirit at all occasions it may sound complex but before we pray we could ask the holy spirit to come and guide us on how to pray on what things to pray about and he'll bring us things to our minds okay again it tells us in that same verse that we must be alert as we pray with all kinds of prayers and pray for the saints so in being alert we must know what is happening in our world today so how can we pray for the church and the people of god okay again with all kinds of prayer we could pray a prayer of thanksgiving thanking god for sparing our lives thanking god for providing for us thanking god for the wonderful seasons okay thanking god for all the things that he has done for you it could be a prayer of um petition requesting for something and asking god right now in this season lots of people are praying for school fees for money for requirements so that they're able to go back to school on time it could be an intercessory prayer praying for another person to get well if they are not well or to even come to faith in the lord jesus christ so children those are some of the few types of prayer that paul is asking us to pray and he says pray without ceasing so we pray as often as we can okay and sometimes it's not necessary that oh i have to run and find a clear place and just kneel down and pray no you could even pray as you are on your right to school you could pray for other children you could pray for your teachers you could pray for your classmates so children that's what it means praying without ceasing and praying together is so important so let's try to pray together i want to share with you a song it was done by hosanna integrity um, I learned it when I was growing up and it's about Ephesians 6 18 and this is how it goes keep on praying in the spirit keep on praying in the spirit at all times with all kinds of prayer Ephesians 6 18 says keep on praying so children I challenge you let's keep on praying let's there's nothing too small to pray about okay let's pray about everything and for everything but above all let's join hands with other friends family members and we pray together because we've seen that there is power in praying together bye bye children see you next week and god bless you